Hello! It's been a while. Welcome. Welcome back. Most likely welcome. Today I'm going to be... What am I going to be doing? I'm going to be creating a video component to what I already do on Instagram talking about the wild world and cool things in it. Today we're going to learn the difference between a monarch butterfly and a viceroy butterfly. Note! I say viceroy. Some people say viceroy. You can say whatever you want. And if you don't like how I say it, just pick the way you want to say it and yell it really loudly every time that I say viceroy. Problem solved. You won't be able to hear me and I won't be offended because, surprise, I can't hear you either. Moving on. My dog Milo decided that he wanted to take a nap on the couch and he's much too cute to move so we're just going to pause for a little bit. I decided that Milo and I can share. I'm petting a dog, not a couch, you just can't see him. And this is perfect because now I can show you photos over here. Oh yeah! Okay. Monarch butterflies eat milkweed. They only eat milkweed. They are also one of the very few things that eats milkweed because milkweed contains cardiac glycosides, which kill things. Monarch butterflies have somehow created the ability to eat it without dying, and it makes them deadly to things that eat them, which is why no birds like to eat monarch butterflies. Scientists thought for a very long time that viceroy butterflies were actually just mimicking monarch butterflies so that birds would mistake them and not eat them, but turns out that viceroys actually also taste really bad because of the food that they eat, so psh, they can hold their own. Now we're going to learn how to tell the difference between them. I think the easiest way to tell the difference between a monarch and viceroy butterfly is that viceroy butterflies have a thick black line that goes across both of their hind wings. Monarchs don't. Viceroy? Monarch. Now we're going to play a little game to help you get the hang of it. So I'm going to show you a photo and you're going to have to guess whether it is a monarch or viceroy. Wait, what's that I see? <laughs> Nothing, obviously, the caps are still on. <laughs> Dark humor, sorry, it's my thing. Our first butterfly. Monarch or Viceroy? If you guessed Monarch, good job. See there's no black line on the hind wing? Woo! It's a Monarch. Next one. Yep, that's a Viceroy. Well done. And if you didn't get it, it's okay. We'll have a few more chances. Here's another one. It's a Monarch. Good job. And maybe last one, maybe not. We'll see. That's a Viceroy. I hope you can tell the black line from now. Good job. Good job! You can now tell the difference between a monarch and viceroy butterfly. Thanks for joining. As a bonus, I'm also going to teach you how to tell the difference between a male and female monarch butterfly. It's pretty easy to tell. The males have balls of black pigment on their hind wing. Wow! What's that? It's not a butterfly. But this is, yep. <laughs> We're gonna play that little game again and you'll guess whether it's a male or female. Although, seeing as I've just told you how to tell, I expect that this won't be that difficult. But, okay, is this a male or female monarch butterfly? You got it, this one's female. No black dots, female butterfly. All right, here's this one. See the black dots? Yeah, you do. It's a male. All right, last try and ta-da! Yep, 
here we've got a male monarch butterfly. And, okay, I know I said that one was the last one, but bonus round! That's actually a female viceroy butterfly, so surprise if any of you got that right. Well done. You didn't need this video. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you're all pros now, and if you got some wrong, just rewatch and do it again until you get them right. And then go do it in nature. Take some photos and show me. Thanks for watching. I hope you know more than you did when you started. And that's all for today. Okay, bye.